Welcome back to our Two Minute Devos. We're in day 33 of our 40 days of prayer here at K-First. I just want to say thanks for being with us today. If you look in your prayer journals, we're in Psalms 24. I love Psalms 24 because of the way it reads, specifically verses 7 and 8. I, I love speaking it in my prayer time. I love using it as a place just to invite the presence of God into my life. And this is what it says. Open up ancient gates, open up ancient doors, and let the King of glory enter. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord invincible in battle. I love that because when you really think about the historical mindset about it, it really gets you excited about inviting God in. You see, back in that day, those major cities many times would have walls around them, and obviously those walls needed a place for people to enter and to exit, and those places were called gates. And so anytime a kingdom would open up its gate to another kingdom, to another king, to a group of people, anytime those gates were opened up so that people can come in, you were always running the risk that that which you were inviting in was going to influence what was on the inside. And if you didn't want that thing to be influencing you, you would shut your gates and you would keep those gates down so that that person, that group, that king, that authority could not have any type of influence inside the city. And so this is the psalmist's uh, idea that he wants us to stop, pause, and think about, that when it comes to the king of glory, saying, listen, open wide the gates, open wide the doors that the king of glory, who is this king of glory? It is the Lord. In other words, let the Lord come on in and give him access and let him have all of the influence that he can have inside of our city. And this is the challenge that I've always given myself when reading the scripture is, man, I want the king of glory. I want the Lord himself to come inside my life and have access to everything. I want to fling wide the doors that he can come in and influence every part of my life. So today, stop, pause, and think about this. Have I willfully and joyfully invited God into my life, into the gates, that he would have influence over every part of my life? If not, would you lower your defenses and humble yourself in the sight of the Lord and let Jesus come in and transform your life? That's all I've got to say today. We'll see you tomorrow as we continue through our series called Selah.